So when you buy a bunch of these plastic cheap bolts, uh, usually this happens to them. The arrowhead just pops off. So I want to show you what you can do with these. You don't have to throw these away. These are still good tail fins, fletches, whatever you want to call them. Uh, you make your own homemade versions of them. I basically melted a nail without the head onto the shaft, and I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So you get a nail, well, that, however you want to do it, just get the head off of the nail, and I'll show you the rest. So this is how I do it. Let's grab a, a, a hacksaw of some kind. Can't do this with one hand, apparently. There. Yeah, I already cut some of it, but yeah, get the head off however you can. I have a Dremel. Um, I could be using that, but it's really loud right now. And I have a hacksaw, might as well. So I took the sharp end of the nail and I poked right into the end of this, right down the middle as much as I can, because I'm going to be drilling into this tip using the nail. Get a regular drill, I'm sure a regular drill will work, but I'm using a Dremel, which has a really good motor, a really good battery, and it will it will melt this plastic, which is what I want. And you'll see in a second. Make sure you have safety glasses on during this because a lot of plastic will fly off of this. So basically what I'm doing is just trying to melt the plastic onto this nail. This is the, the nail without the head. This is not the sharp end, the sharp end is on the inside of this. So, and this plastic does take a lot longer to melt than this plastic, I've noticed. So I might not show you exactly from beginning to end. Basically what I'm doing is just trying to make a fire. <laughs> I'm just trying to get it warm. In fact, I like to push this nail up against the wood, which I'm going to do right now, just to make it hot. So, I don't want to overdo it. Hopefully the metal gets hot enough to melt that and the plastic sticks to it. And yes, this it could slip and and uh, jab me, but it's not that sharp. It's starting to get there. The plastic has fallen off, it's hitting my hand, and I can feel it. It's really hot. I'm turn it up a little bit. Waiting for this to melt. Getting there. Oh. Right, that's, it's normal, it's actually really hard to do this, but the plastic that's melted on the, the nail is, is a good thing, whether I have it in position or not. I need that plastic on the nail. Now that plastic is also going to help create friction. It's going to melt this a little bit faster now, but I need more plastic on the end. I think that's good. Yeah, I'm gonna stop that. Make it as straight as possible while it's cooling off before it completely cools off. And it doesn't have to be 100% straight, but straighter the better. And there we go. Now I take, I take this out. Oh, see, yep. Yeah, it didn't completely melt, so I'm gonna have to keep doing this. Damn it, I lost all that heat too. Calm down. You'd be surprised, as soon as it just melts right on the end, it's going to stay pretty well. See if I make that as straight as possible. It's not as straight as possible, but whatever. Alright. 
Now I'm going to take this off. I'll show you what I'll do with the rest. The melting process is still not done because this little file thing here will actually melt it a little bit. I'm going to go like this. Also smooths it out. There you have it. You take a uh, regular sandpaper just to smooth this out. I don't really care about how smooth it is, so I just use regular clippers and I start clipping off all this extra stuff. Usually I have a lot more extra stuff than this. And uh, there you have it. You got yourself a recycled bolt. And I will shoot these just to show you how, how good they are. I want to uh, make a, a completely different video to explain to you how the end having a lot of weight will actually uh, make it more accurate but it'll, it will also want to go down to the ground sooner so basically you're taking up uh, range for accuracy and I'm gonna make a video for that hopefully you'll subscribe to see that and here I'll go to shoot right now whoa all right so I also wanted to point out <clears throat> that my string actually I need to repair Wow I didn't realize this damage right here but uh, this string is horrible. I mean, I don't know what company it is because there's no logo on the package or anything, but I did get it from Amazon. Um, it works good except it frays, which is the worst thing that could happen to a string. Just like this right here. I don't know if you can see that, but it's coming undone. I can fix that because this side came undone, this side came undone, and this side came undone. And I was thinking what kind of adhesive I can use that can, you know, stretch. Here, I can show you. I'll just the glue is working just fine, and you know it's just regular hot glue. Except I have to sh I should really make a video on how to show you how to do it because um, you don't want to put globs in it. As soon as this shoots, the string might fling back and throw a chunk at your eyeball. It's just not good. So you want to basically soak this glue inside your string, but not so much that it it ruins the the string but at least enough to soak in between all these uh, coils that you see, the coils. I don't really know how to explain, but uh, make sure that the glue is completely inside of there and as small as possible. I'm gonna have to do it here, but for right now, I'm gonna load up, I don't know what colored bolt I just did. I'm gonna load up this bolt and show you